Hi friends, this is Vetrivial. This tutorial I will teach POS point of sale. A uh, lot of our subscribers, our uh, tutorial subscriber asking you have to create any inventory system or hotel management or asset management or point of sales like that. So that's why I am trying to create one new uh, complete point of sales. Right now step by step I will create. Uh, step by step means every day I will create add one 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 video in that video I will teach one one uh, little little step, step step by step right now in module one I have uh, right now I'm creating four tables profile master role master role element master and profile role master after that I will create product creation and sales purchase etc uh, etc et right now I will explain the this table structure how I am using here here I have used profile master what is the purpose of the profile master uh, first, oh, first you are uh, creating uh, or using any software any POS that time the I need to create uh, the profile for the users uh, which users are using that uh, POS I will create for profiles for first so this is PMID. PMID means Profile Master ID. So the short form I am using PMID and PM User ID. PMID as a primary key. So I need to maintain unique profile details. That's why I am using here PK. PK means prof, uh, primary key. I will while creating the table, I will ma make it as this, this column as a primary key. Okay, here PM. Profile master ID, PM profile master user ID, PM profile master uh, password, first name, last name, gender, date of birth, uh, date of birth, uh, date of joining, email, mobile number, location, present address, permanent address, account number, tax number, or PAN number. Anything you can use uh, based on your country re country region. You have to use whatever you want. Some fields you want to add, then you can add. As well as you want to delete, then you can delete it. So here RMID. Here I am using RMID. So RMID means Role Master ID. So for that I will use here Role Master table. That and all I will explain later. Right now Role Master and PM status. Status means some profile I need to maintain as a uh, expiry pro profile means status. And uh, no, here are uh, right now uh, active profile means I will make it as a A. Uh, like that, I, I will put any keywords here based on status. So, okay, and let, let us come to second table role master. So, this profile master RMID plus role master uh, RMID it will linked here profile master as a primary key. So I used to, to link these two table that time uh, profile master act as a uh, uh, parent table is as a foreign table primary key and foreign key act as a foreign key. Okay here role ID and ARM role means here I will use uh, admin or user guest main thing etc etc so as well as I will use RM status RM status means here I will use this uh, role is active or inactive I will I will make like that okay why I am using two tables so this is a table normalization that means relational database management or DBMS so based on uh, creating multiple tables and relating to one table to another table so here RM uh, role element master for this role master RMID here RMID is there and here REM role, mas role element master ID uh, is used as a primary key so here I will make again I will call this role and form name form name means uh, like a profile master login page or uh, sales page uh, purchase page sales view like that how many forms I have that form name I should maintain here so role element master so uh, after profile role master so what is the relation between what is the purpose between this two table this three table here I will make it so profile role master ID equal to PK PM ID profile master ID 
and profile master id this id should come here RMID this ID should come here or EMID this ID should come here so that means these three tables related to this table here role is there role admin that you have to assume that this is admin so form name this is uh, product creation so this is product creation form permission I will give read write and edit like that so so many permission based on comma i will give i will give here so uh, in case this is guest guest user so i will create pro same product creation page same product creation page but here i will only reading permission like that i will make the permissions to the uh, particular users a uh, particular based on user id like that so i need to hide uh, temporarily active or inactive i will set here so this and all no need for example i will declare here so based on this four table i need to create one uh, database for that so tomorrow i will uh, teach today is uh, 10 16 sorry 16 10 2015 my email id is nimbuli at gmail while doing step by step any uh, further subscriber have any doubts or any issues you are facing or facing that time you have to send rick send mail to uh, me i will definitely help you uh, now onwards i will make to teach by day by day here yeah, uh, right now i will teach how to create a database uh, database structures uh, for that based on this structure I will uh, make one database and in that I will create four tables okay so how to do the null so first I have visual studio 2008 r2 database I have so I will installed already so just this is so many database here will be there so you want to create one new database just right click and uh, new database here give any name here but I already created any name here and click OK it will create the DB here ok see new database give any name and just click OK so this database will be created here so ok here inventory DB I already created in inventory table DB table is no table is there right click uh, click new add table right click add new table so in the table you have to create uh, which field you want so just if to shift to home, shift to home, okay control c just alt -tab. i will adding the column like that you have to add your column shift to home this table only I will uh, adding those fields and all uh, other table fields and all I already added but I am not executing that those things so I will teach everything just a minute as I will add this only Roll. form name f2 and final c now I have RMID here I will set data type where care uh, maximum is 10 is enough and the PMID where care again 10 and the PMID so here where care not where binary by mistake you made it won't save many of my subscribers doing same mistakes 
uh, instead of where care they will use where 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 binary after that you, uh, your code is not working like that telling after i'm getting that uh, your reference and all at that time i will re explain those things so for that before i will common mistake i will telling i am telling sorry roll form name permission and status so once you enter all the fields just save here or else you have to type uh, save uh, control s ok and click save here so it will ask the table name so here what your table name already I am written this table name here just copy the table name here and paste it and click ok see that table was created ok now I am just right click and close it so like that all the structures I already created here but I am not saving here so just this is for profile element master so control s again it will ask the table name just select the table name and control a control c control v ok so table i am created close it here control c control s control v ok close three tables created and click profile master final table so in the table structure i will explain first here user id i am giving varchar 10 and data uh, pm data data birth i am using date time here also date time and email varchar 150 i am using mobile i am using varchar 50 and location android present and uh, permanent address i am using varchar 1000 and account number I am using here uh, 50 and tax number also I am using 50 uh, RM ID I am using 10 and PM status I am using 10 so put control S it will ask table name just uh, give your table name and click OK see our four table was created successfully but here first column I need to make as a primary key every table so just right click and design yeah, select the select your column and click here primary key or else just right click here set primary key and save see some some of database uh, is showing the recreate and uh, recreate permission is not enabled in some databases that time it's showing like that so that time what you do I will tell that options just go to tools in option in designer uh, table and designer Preve prevent prevent saving changes that require recreation this checkbox uncheck this checkbox and click ok now again you have to save it it successfully saved see like that I will modify all the tables to first column I will set as a primary key and save right click here design right click set primary key and save design primary key and save ok now our table structure was created successfully ok so as of now no data is there ok guys we will uh, in next video i will teach how to make uh, like uh, uh, 
how to create a project new project in that project I will create how to map the database how to create three tier three tier architecture so everything I will teach three tier architecture using three tier architecture only we will develop this project in future environment also future scope also based on three tier architecture or MVC so okay guys we will meet on next best tutorial or sorry tomorrow uh, uh, we will uh, develop with the uh, kind of videos okay keep uh, seeing my uh, keep touch with my accounts and uh, please subscribe